Hi, my name is Dom Segola, and we're here at WCIT in Amsterdam. Uh, and one of the things I learned in today's panel on e-government uh, was the sort of divide in attitude from older folks to younger folks. It seems like the previous generation holds information close and finds it valuable to kind of hoard that information or at least, you know, find some purpose for it themselves before they, they release it. Whereas, um, you know, folks from my generation and younger are thinking that openness first and to provide access first, and that's a general and universal value. And then, you know, issues that come up with sharing information can be dealt with later. And, you know, that actually I'm, I'm hearing resonate in this panel and you know, over, this, over this week that something we may need to get over as a society, you know. Uh, the folks in power right now need to realize that, that the attitude about hoarding information and information as wealth, that needs to be kind of changed. And if that's actually true, then spreading that information around is, in a sense, spreading around the wealth. And uh, that may be sort of a socialist attitude. But actually, um, I find that the types of behavior that information sharing uh, engenders, it basically, what I'm trying to say is, so, uh, the, so, so the wealth of information comes not from holding it close, but actually sharing it. You, you, you transform information into wealth by sharing it. In other words, like in a traditional capitalist monetary society, the more money you have, the more wealth you have, the more value you know to some people you would have. Um, but with information, and especially with this type of transparency that we're trying to promote, um, the more you share, the well more wealthy you are. In other words, you become an authority. And I think that aspect is, is one of the more important lessons here, is that by sharing information, you actually become more powerful um, because you're seen as an authority. Or you're, you're, you're you know, you're, you, and this is part of the open source movement, you know, you become, uh, it's your credit, right? So you, you get the credit for sharing that information. So you get the, the kudos, you get the, the karma, I guess it would be. Uh, for, for giving that information away. And, I, and I, I think we'll see that going forward. And I would watch for that. Um, watch for the folks who hold information and how they perform versus folks who share information and what happens to them. I think we'll see some patterns around you know, folks becoming authority, folks having uh, you know, taking a sense of responsibility. It's the difference between taking credit and taking responsibility. Someone who takes credit feels like it's the, it's, you know, that, they're, that they're owning something. Uh, and it's theirs, that there's alone. Someone who takes responsibility for something is acting on it, is, is taking that and possibly even giving it and sharing it. Um, I'm not sure if that's a true definition of the word responsibility, but that's how I look at it. Like, for example, I mean, I, Twitter was not my idea. Twitter was Jack's idea. So I don't take credit for it. But I'm here in Amsterdam to take responsibility for it. So what do we do with it now that we've created it? And I think that's the lesson that I'm trying to promote. Thank you very much. Thank you.